Hello, this is Alex from Centaurus Computer. So I'm going to show you how to install and remove memory. So in this case, the memory is already installed. RAM, RAM, DDR4, those are regular DDR4 sticks. So to remove it, there are like latches tabs on the sides. You pull them to the sides like this. It pops up, really easy to remove. I'm going to do the same with the second stick, like this. Now, some other boards would have those uh, moving latches on one side and like on this side they could be fixed in place uh, so you would just use this side open it up stick it in and then it goes in uh, with this side fixed in this case both of them can be opened so I'm gonna open them back up now there is a cutout on the memory stick with this side longer and this side shorter and uh, there are like plastic tabs inside so you have to match that hole with those plastic pieces in the slot to make sure it's gonna go in only one way that's why you don't need to force it in or anything if it doesn't go in it means you have to probably rotate it or double check that you're doing it right so you slide it in matching openings on the sides just rest it on top like this now use your thumbs to push on it and then your index fingers to help with those side latches so you push it in and it clicks in place that's it just double check it sits there everything is solid uh, those side tabs should be all like on one level so if it sticks out that probably means that you did not insert it fully. I'm gonna take the other stick here and I'm gonna install it in the fourth slot because if you look here it shows here that um, first slots that you have to use are second and fourth so second and fourth slots are gonna be the ones you want to use if you're using two memory stick sticks if it's only one you're gonna use only second slot the reason for this if is uh, you want to use uh, two sticks in dual channel configuration and uh, second and fourth slots are gonna be the first ones for dual channel configuration if you install four sticks you will use the rest first and third slots but two first slots that you're always gonna be using on most motherboards these days are gonna be fourth and second slots for two sticks there could be only two slots and that makes it easier although uh, less uh, options for expansion later so second slot is occupied fourth slot here for the second stick push it with the thumbs on both sides make sure sides are locked in and that's pretty much it uh, don't forget to enable uh, xmp or amd memory profiles in the bias to make sure memory is running at uh, optimum speeds and there is nothing else you have to do with that. Thank you for watching. Have a good day.